Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, about 10 months ago, I did a full review of the uh, Peak Design camera clip, okay? The one that lets you uh, clip your camera onto your backpack and whatnot, right? Now, I've been using that thing ever since, and I've been using it a lot, so it's been uh, thrown, dropped, you know, buried. I don't know what happened to it, but it's holding up, uh, you know, perfectly. And uh, when Peak Design uh, announced that they have a brand new version of it, I wanted to check it out, of course, okay? So uh, Peak Design, uh, you know, hooked me up with it. So thank you very much for that. Let's dive in and see what changed. Here we go. All right, let's jump in. Let's see what we got here. So this is uh, the packaging as I received it. And, uh, you know, it looks uh, pretty slick. And uh, that's kind of what you come to expect from Peak Design. I mean, they're not called Peak Design for nothing. But uh, it's kind of like getting a present, so it's always cool, right? Okay, so uh, let's see. If we open that up, this is the inside. On the left, you have uh, instructions and, uh, you know, kind of tells you what it's for. But for those of you who don't know, uh, this thing on the bottom here goes onto your belt, your strap of your bag, of your backpack, whatever. And this plate goes onto the bottom of your camera. So if you look at this image on the left here, you can take your camera and just easily with one hand clip it into this holder, this clip here, and easily pull it out again if you need to take a, a picture, right? This is the quick release button right here. And if you are afraid that people will uh, steal it from this clip because your bag's hanging on a chair or whatever, you can actually lock that release button as well, right? So that, that's uh, pretty handy. Also, if you are hiking, biking, whatever, and you're afraid your camera's gonna fall out, and I can assure you it won't, but if you're afraid, you can do that too, right? Okay, so what else? If we uh, open up everything, you see the complimentary uh, Peak Design sticker there. We've got the key. This is the main unit, and this is the plate that goes into your camera. And then this bag here is new, uh, and I kinda like that because I have a lot of tiny parts in my uh, photo bag. Uh, you know, like uh, the, those anchors that uh, Peak Design uh, have on their slings and whatever. And uh, you know, if you're afraid you're gonna lose that stuff, you can just uh, put it in that little pouch, right? So that's kind of cool. Okay, what else? Um, this is the main unit. Now, uh, I have the original one as well. This one is uh, smaller, it's thinner, it's lighter. It has, it's created out of one slick material. I think it's aluminum. And it looks uh, cool. I mean, uh, the other one was uh, cool, uh, but this is, I don't know, uh, let's call it designy, if you will, right? I, I just like it. So uh, let's see, if we compare the original one to the new one, and here are the, here they are side by side. Now, the one on the right obviously is the old one. You can see that it has uh, taken some beating and uh, that's all my fault. I. Uh, have not been uh, very careful with it. This thing has been everywhere. It's been in the mountains, in the desert, in the snow, in the water. Not the camera, just a clip. And uh, yeah, if you look at it compared to the new one, you can see that the new one is uh, smaller and uh, uh, as well as the base clip, uh, smaller as well. And uh, you can't see that, but like I said, much lighter, right? So uh, side by side, height wise, the old one is slightly higher. It's just a little difference, but uh, nevertheless, it's there. And that kind of counts in the weight, right? Now, if we look at the top of the new one, you can see that the plate is now in place. And normally you would have your camera on here. That's your quick release. So you can uh, snap that camera out to take your next shot. Now, the back here, which is pretty important in my opinion, um, is completely flat and smooth. Now, if you are an outdoors person like I am, then you probably invest a lot of money in good outdoor clothing, right? So coats and pants and whatever. And you don't want the back of a clip like that to rip your coat or your pants or damage it. This is completely smooth, slick. It's not gonna collect dirt. It's not gonna make your clothes dirty. Not that I care about that, but you know, um, let's say you're out on a photo shoot and you want to uh, remain uh, presentable, you know, that can be an issue. So uh, a couple of examples of the clip in place. Now here I put the clip onto uh, the strap of my uh, Peak Design uh, backpack and uh, that fits uh, quite well, uh, obviously. Uh, but you can uh, put that on uh, basically any backpack that will allow you to put that strap through there. 
and it's not limited to backpacks if you want to put it on uh, I don't know um, the strap of a handbag on your belt on whatever you can uh, get in between there uh, let's say you're on a motorcycle or whatever okay um, here's an example of uh, the clip on my messenger bag um, and in this case kind of a different purpose uh, when I'm out with a messenger bag, I maybe have one or two cameras with me and because I have multiple clips I can uh, clip them on here if I need to have my hands free for a moment So it's kind of um, you know Don't put your camera on the table in the dirt on the grass Just clip it on your bag and you get your hands free. That's kind of the idea, right? So one more uh, image of that there you go and then a couple of shots of the uh, the backpack here now uh, it's adjustable in height and uh, it's, it's basically pretty multi-purpose. Yeah, so basically a lot of improvements as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I am most pleased with two things, to be honest. One is the fact that it's lighter um, and you know every ounce counts when you fly a lot. And um, also the fact that the release mechanism is so smooth now that taking the camera out is very easy, but more importantly, Putting it back uh, is something you can do without fiddling, right? So uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully the uh, review was helpful. If you got any questions, let me know. I'll uh, put a link below to the original review video of the one that I had first, and I'll put a link below to the new clip if you want to get one. Okay, thank you. Bye.